Hi, welcome back to Tactical Magfed. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and the bell notification um, for all future videos. Got some inter interesting stuff coming up. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how I installed a red dot flip up, red dot sight on my FSC pistol. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, I didn't video the actual full process of me installing this red dot on um, on my pistol. Uh, but what I'm going to do is kind of put a clever montage up of pictures and stuff while I talk through this just to show you how how and how you can um, put this uh, red dot on your FSC or another red dot on your FSC and a couple of things to look out for uh, if you're going to do it. Okay, so First and foremost, what you need to do is to remove this whole um, aluminium block from the marker. So you don't want to be drilling and tapping screws into the aluminium when it's all put together. You'll get crud in your marker, basically bits of metal shavings and filings, and that's not going to be good for it and it will ruin it. Um, also, before you contemplate doing stuff like this, as soon as you drill or modify these in any way, you are um, voiding your warranty. So just be prepared for that. If you want the red dot on there, um, but you don't want to void your warranty, um, I believe there's a guy on Facebook called Fatal Snot in the US. Um, he makes a dovetail um, riser that will fit on here. Um, it fits into the uh, the site fixture and you can screw red dots on there. Um, I'm obviously in the UK so I didn't go for that option. Well, at the time he didn't at the time I did this he didn't make them. Um, if he made them at the time I was doing this I may well have gone down that route but it's a learning curve for me. This is something I wanted to know how to do. Um, I'm gonna be putting one on another pistol that I have, um, the PPQ M2 so if you're interested in that um, go check out my video on the PPQ um, and my little, my, it's got some notes on there for my project for putting a site on it. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, FSC. So yes, um, it will void your warranty if you start drilling into it. And there's a couple of things you have to be aware of before you start drilling holes in your marker. Um, uh, and how these mounts work. So uh, if I first of all get the box out for the red dot. So the red dot I used for this project was a, a reflex flip sight. Um, it is a replica of a real steel uh, red dot. This isn't real steel grade. It was 25 quid or something over there, sort of 20, 20 22 dollars in the States, uh, depending on the exchange rate. Um, it comes in a nice sturdy box um, and has comes with lots of fixtures and fittings um, actually that goes with it. It's pretty cool. So, what I need to show you is this. This is the plate that comes on the bottom of it. So, just move the pistol out of the way there, show you on this camera. These are the width of the screws, the screw holes for the um, red dot um, to screw onto this plate. And these two are the screw, the distance between the screws of a standard sort of dovetail fitting, if you like, on um, on a mount. So the the mount I have for the PPQ, um, the holes are much they're much closer together. Um, why is this important? Um, because when you strip this marker out. Um, you, you can take this rear section off here, and there's basically a, a round cylindrical hole drilled in here with the bolt in the back of the marker. Um, and as you can see, the further in, in the further towards each of these edges you go, the more aluminium, the more body you have to screw into. Um, this was particularly important to me because I wasn't overly confident on doing this. This was the first time I attempted to drill and tap holes of any description. So, um, the more material I had to work with, the better, obviously. So, as you look at on here, um, the two holes that would have been, this is the plate that comes on the bottom of the um, sights when you buy it. 
they're right near the centre of where that tube would be, and these holes are right near the edge of the marker. So, you know, by deduction, um, you can ignore that because that's the site. The thinnest area to try and tap is the top um, kind of centimetre and a bit, <clears throat> maybe 13, 14 mil on the top there. And the thickest part is these two side edges here where there's more, where the circle goes round, the circumference goes round and there's more material <coughs> excuse me, to drill into. So, with that in mind, I'll just pop that up, you can see here that they're quite, they're wide apart and they go into the edges. Um, if I've got the Allen key here, I'll just take these off. That's the big one. Right, what's that? So I've just gone deathly silent there, so unscrew that one. Uh, and that one. Okay, there we go. So there's the two holes that I drilled and tapped. So um First things that, so once we go back to where we, where we were before, so you should completely strip this marker down. You don't have to take the sights off um, as such, but you need to take that whole block off, um, the whole hand grip, the trigger assembly. You need to take unscrew all of the this block under here as well. It was all attached onto this block from the other direction. Remove it all out. So you've just got the, the plain old top section here. Okay, um, with that off, um, you then want to protect it and clamp it so it's nice and flat. And how I did it, this, this plate here is for an RMR mount, it's a spacer for an RMR mount. So I put that where I wanted it to be, on here, okay. Taped it down nice and secure, and I used a centre punch to create two punched points there, so I knew where to drill. Okay, so once I knew where I was going to drill, um, took that off, and then used... Um, the drill bit to drill the hole. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head which size drill bit it was. I'll link in the um, description, what, I'll put a note in the description what it was. But effectively that is an M4, an M4 tap. Okay, these are M4 screws that go in here. All right, so um, there you go. An M4 screw that goes in there. Once I knew where I was going to drill, um, I needed to make sure I didn't drill too deep. Um, words to live by, uh, gentlemen out there. So, uh, at the time I did this, I didn't have any micrometers. Um, if you've got micrometers, then what you can do is you can use those to find out the exact thickness of this. So, as you'll see in some of the pictures that I magically um, put on the screen some, at some point during this conversation, um, I used a cocktail stick. I took this piece out here, held the cocktail stick down and marked it so I knew the depth. And then what I did is just gradually drill into there and check it with the check it with the cocktail stick. Um, sounds a bit Neanderthal and it is a bit Neanderthal. Yeah, you should use micrometers really, but it worked. Um, as you got done, if you can see in there, I did not drill through into the body of the marker. Uh, I did check the distance between here and here and what was in there. So there are milled grooves within here that if you drilled into them and damaged them in any way, you would absolutely ruin the marker because there, you know, there's a there's a um, a hole in there that where the ring in the the milling of this body meets a certain section on the bolt, and that that air pressure causes the bolt to to, to push back. Uh, when you fire the when you fire the pistol, um, the air is released. It pushes the bolt forward, and then that hole puts air into the system, and the bolt comes flying back, or vice versa. Where this sits, <clears throat> there is a body there, which is just a, a chamber. So, if I'd accidentally drilled through there and screw these shut and um, Loctite blew them or something like that, they would seal off. So the chamber, it wouldn't stop the marker working, but as long as there's no burrs of metal in there and stuff like that, it wouldn't stop the bolt moving in there. What it probably would do is mess up your the pressure of the marker if there was a void. <clears throat> so 
so it would affect the FPS of the marker. Um, this is all theoretical, I'm not um, you know, an expert on this, but in my mind I kind of helped with my confidence to say look, where those holes were going, if I did go through, then as long as I sealed them up and made sure they were airtight, you know, P uh, PTFE'd them, uh, Loctite blued them, so on and so forth, at least the air would be secure so it would still hopefully function and then I'd have to address any issues I got with FPS. You know, there's a, a wide range on this pistol um, of adjustment so hopefully it would have, it would have been alright. It was all worry for nothing, my cocktail stick did the job, I didn't drill too deep, I didn't go through and didn't ruin the marker. It all works. I can take the red dot off and leave it like this and still shoot it <coughs> without any bother. Okay, so I got my cocktail stick. Um, when I was happy that I got as close as I dared to the depth of the drill, you know, I'd, got, I'd, I'd marked off my cocktail stick, I'd got as close to those marks as I dared go. I didn't go any further and I thought, I've got what I've got, I'm just going to have to tap it. Um, you then use the tapping tool. Um, it is kicking around here somewhere. Right. So here's the tap. Uh, that is the actual one that I used for this particular job. You put it into this device like a drill bit, and as you drill, as you screw into the hole, it cuts the um, the thread for the screw hole. Um, you do have to be pretty careful not to sit it in the top and just, you know, thread the top of the thread the top of the hole so that there's no so there's no bite. Um, but uh, with a bit of pressure, um, it, it bit quite easily. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. To say that being said, I didn't just go into this gung ho and my first attempt was on the marker. I had a pra couple of practice runs, <clears throat> so. This block comes in with the this block comes in with the sight. Um, it's a I think it's a spacer or a, a height adjuster to go on a the Picatinny mount that comes with it. It came with this Picatinny, so you can heighten it up so you can put it on a your a AR or your M4 replica marker. But what I did is um, to check that I was using the right drill bit and that I knew what it was going to be like to tap this thing. I had two attempts, I did one there and one there, drilled, drilled into this bad boy and then um, ran the tap through, the tap bit, and threaded it, and it worked. So once I was happy that, you know, I could do that successfully, then I went ahead and did it on the marker. It's just a case of confidence. Once you're confident you can do it, um, uh, and you're pretty handy, you know, you know you're going to be accurate when you're drilling the holes, you're not going to start going in at angles and all funny stuff, um, you're good to go. <clears throat> so with that being said, I, had, I tapped the holes. Um, I was quite careful that as you get to the bottom, you don't want to keep forcing the tap bit round and round and round, because all you'll do, this is aluminium and that is hardened steel, I believe. So once you get to the bottom and you feel that it won't go any further, don't try and get another quarter turn out of it like you were tightening up a nut or something, you know, get, a, get an eighth of a quarter of a turn, because what will happen is it will just shred that thread out, it will just keep trying to over thread it and it will just rip it out. So when you hit the bottom, stop and then you slowly wind it back out again. Um, and then um, you have to test um, your, your tap. So you get the screws, you put them in. Um, in the pictures that I'm going to show you, you'll notice that I had a spacer in here. It's a bit of card wrapped in some carbon fibre wrap that you, from wrapping cars and stuff like that. Um, just to the screws that came with it, was there was some short ones and some long ones. What I needed was a screw that was in between. Didn't have any. Um, with other sites that I've got um, recently, they had different length screws, ones that fit, so I didn't have to have the riser, the spacer in there. So I've used those. But yeah, in the pictures, if you're confused why there's a, a spacer in between there, that's why. I just needed something that was like a millimetre thick. Um, to wedge in between the sight and the marker so it didn't rattle because I couldn't go deep enough for the longer screws. Okay, so we'll stick this back on uh, where it belongs. Um, I am going to, now I've shot this video, 
I'm going to Loctite these on. Um, with this being a, a a tap that I've done myself, I, I'm not confident in really, really ramping these screws tight. Um, so there's the red dot back on there because um, I don't want to thread it. Because if I thread it, I'll look at it. Um, so yeah, the red dot's back on there. Loctite blew it to seal the nuts on there, the, the bolts on there, so it won't rattle off. Is, there's no action on this marker, so it won't. It, there's no movement, so it shouldn't. Um, there's no recoil as such, so it shouldn't affect these screws. But I just want to lock tight them on there to save me having to ramp up the tightness of the screws. Okay, a um, little bit about this red dot. When it's down like that, it's got um, a, a, a magnet in there that turns it off, um, so it's not actually powered up. You flip it on like that. I don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, the red dot comes on when you open it and it goes off and you shut it. Oh, it's pretty cool. I might do another video on that if anyone's interested in the red dot that I've got on here. Um, just put something in the comments and I'll, um, I'll do another video. So that's all good. Okay, so sorry that was a bit of a bit of a long one, but it's quite interesting for me. It's a good project putting it on there, putting the red dot on there. Um, seen a few people out there that have done this, and I thought I'll give it a go. It worked out. Just need a bit of confidence. So um, you guys got any questions? Just hit me up in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you if you didn't, uh, sorry uh, for, for wasting your time. But go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the, the bell notification. I've got some other videos coming out on some other cool stuff that I'm doing with uh, my markers. Uh, so if you want to be first up uh, to see those, um, may involve a red dot on a PPQ. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, thanks again, and see you in the next one.